What has been the longest film you've ever seen in a theater? For me, it used to be Martin Scorsese's The Irishman. Now it's Patrick Wyson's newest documentary, Menu Plaisir Le Toigo. It's a documentary that explores the legacy of a family business that has maintained Michelin stars for over 50 years. I'm so grateful I've had the opportunity to view this film at the 2023 Toronto International Film Festival. I'm so inspired by the passion and legacy of this restaurant team, and I'm so inspired by the curiosity and craftsmanship of Frederick Wiseman. I am currently struggling to produce four minute videos consistently here, whereas Mr. Frederick Wiseman has created the most riveting four hour culinary film at age 93. Menu Plaisir Le Toigo was one of Frederick Wiseman's funnier documentaries with drama over sriracha and overwhelming cheese platters. Here's a quick synopsis on the film. Menu Plaisir Le Toigo is a four hour masterpiece about the day-to-day -day operations of a French fine dining dynasty that has maintained Michelin stars for over 50 years. Four generations of the Toigo family have maintained the legacy of the Michelin star establishment and Le Boisson Fait is the name of the fine dining establishment that is mainly featured in this film. Here are the highlights of the film for me. The Toigo family was one of the pioneers in nouveau cuisine and the approach of creating aesthetically pleasing and delicate small dishes that emphasized the freshness and presentation of the ingredients. Some of the hallmark dishes of the Toigo include the egg dessert, which consists of a white chocolate shell and John Dory, which is a coastal fish that is not usually sold at supermarkets. I enjoyed seeing how the front of house team carefully analyzed the needs of the guests and thoughtfully curated their dining experiences. Additionally, I enjoyed seeing how the open plan kitchen of the restaurant was surprisingly a calm environment that was akin to a well-organized orchestra with the head chefs as the maestros. The kitchen was not as stressful as Carmi's Kitchen in FX's The Bear. The restaurant, however, did remind me of the restaurant in Mark Milo's The Menu. As a detail-oriented person myself, I really enjoyed seeing the thoughtfulness and meticulousness of the restaurant team throughout this film. My favorite parts of the film involve the inner workings of the farm-to-table life cycle. The Toigo family used fresh local ingredients from France and some of the observational shots of the fresh produce at the farmers markets and the green farmlands in the first hour of the film were like hypnotically calm ASMR videos. When we invest in local agriculture, green spaces can be better preserved, the spread of foodborne illnesses can be better mitigated, and the agricultural sector can provide so many jobs and stimulate the economies while providing consumers with healthy foods that will benefit their health and well-being. After reading a number of books about the effects of processed foods on our bodies, like salt, sugar, fat, and ultra-processed people, I have been trying to consume more whole foods and invest more in unprocessed foods to the best of my ability. Unprocessed whole foods are truly rich in flavor. Fine cuisine ultimately cannot exist without healthy farms and excellent farmers. Speaking of excellence, as evidenced by the meticulous cooking processes of the restaurant team, the thoughtfully curated dining experience at the restaurant and the 240 minute runtime of the documentary. It is clear that practicing patience will eventually lead to excellence and lifetime fulfillment. When you practice patience, you avoid giving up on your goals too early and you dedicate more time to developing your skills. When you spend more time on deliberate practice, your brain will develop new neural pathways that will eventually allow you to perform your skills 
more automatically. When you're at the level where you can perform your skills more automatically, you'll have a greater bandwidth to discover new ways to perform your skills more effectively and efficiently, and you'll gain a wider knowledge base for you to uh, find better solutions to any problems related to your skills or the craft that you've been practicing in. Practicing patience and consistently engaging in deliberate practice will inspire you to be a lifelong learner, and being a lifelong learner is crucial for achieving success. When one of the cooks at the restaurant made a mistake while draining blood from a lamb's brain, head chef kindly took the time to teach him the correct procedure for draining blood from a lamb's brain, and he took the time to read specific passages from legendary French reference books on cooking, La Rousse and Escoffier. He actually took the time to read specific passages to the cook to teach him the proper procedures. In addition to being able to practice patience and commit to lifelong learning, it is essential for one to be consistent, meticulous, and disciplined to achieve excellence. Both the Twelgo family and the director Frederick Weisman have been committed to their crafts, practicing their crafts for over 50 years, and they are truly the epitomes of excellence in their field. Menu plaisirs means small pleasures in French. The director's non-judgmental observational style, the farm-to-table life cycle, the fine dining experience, and the love for food and cooking captured in this film have reminded me the importance of appreciating and saving the small pleasures in life.